Okay, we're talking to Mike Cruz. Hi, Mike. You're with Inspiration Software. Is that right? Hey, Tim. How are you? I'm the product oh. manager at Inspiration Software, so, responsible for our new iPad product. So you're like important. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to give the customers what they want. There you go. Okay, so you just mentioned it already. You already have a, a new iPad app, and this is actually something that I've been looking forward to. I've, it's been like, why don't you have an iPad app yet? Well, clearly we've been. Uh, we believe finally the iPad's taking off. You think somebody's going to buy one? We think so. We're hearing there's a couple of those in schools right did now. You, did you notice any at this conference I've at seen, all? I've seen a couple you saw one by or, teachers. One or two. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So uh, talk about the iPad app. So it took a while for you all to get one out. It, but it's right. actually really, it's only been 18 months since the iPad actually came out. So it's That's right. And you know, we, we really want to basically bring the experience of inspiration down with the natural interface that you have on the iPad. You know, so we have, as you know, we have a large install base of Inspiration customers around the nation, about over 25 million uh, PCs in schools today right. use Inspiration. And we want to continue that interface down onto the iPad. But and really, you didn't want to rush something out either. So that's right. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it is. An Let other people put the pieces of crap out. Let's. Uh, <laughs> right. That's you right. don't want to say that. I know. I'll say it. Okay. So we got it. We got an iPad app here. We actually have a, a running version of this. Is this available now? It's not. We're basically going to go into the App Store next month. Okay. So March 2012. Well, that's right. Is what we're going for it is um, we're going to have like. Uh, 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 There'll be two versions. Two there's, versions. There's basically a a free a free abridged product that will allow teachers and educators to be able to you know use the product in a standalone fashion, right? To gain the experience, and then we have the uh, the full version, which includes document transfer, integration into Pages and other local iOS apps, Dropbox support, iTunes support, full oh, okay. template full template library. So you've got the you've got the light version, and then the one that really works. Uh, that's a, that's I'm with guy. you. I'm with you. Okay, so show me, uh, show me all about it. What do we got here? Well, the, the, as you start with inspiration, you always have a concept of a main idea, right? And I just want to quickly add in a few more topics around it. And you're just double, uh, double tapping. Double tapping, you know, will basically uh, let me enter that in. Okay. And you know, we can we can tap, continue on the inspire or the. Um, Typing and talking is really a really difficult skill for it me. It is. There you go. Well, it's multitasking. It's That's a multitasking right. thing. And while you're doing that, I'll show what it looks like on the big screen here. So can, we can continue to add embellishments. So, for example, here we're, we're running in our natural curved link style okay. all the way into more of a formal style. Right. And it really allows the students for allowing personalization. I think that's important to help on the visual right. learners. Right. So control over various attributes. Have a, a basic shape library. But what's important for us is how we actually integrate in other image sources. For example, external images can come into the product there, along with the full support for the photo so album. So I can take a picture. Camera. I can take a picture. It'll be in my album. I can put it in there. Is yeah, that we okay. can go through the photo album, but we also have direct interface into the into the camera itself. Oh, so, so right, right from the right, right from the. Oh, that's yeah. Awesome. So let me show you. Basically, go hit the camera icon. I've got. Wait, a, take a picture of me because I'm important. Okay. There we go. Wait. Uh, Okay, Tim's now a mortal. Okay, I'm mortal artist. There we go. On our document you know, going on there, because, you know, so we can, we can make him bigger. It, it's all about me. That's right. And if I can be part of any presentation, that's by right. God, I'm going to be. So we can, you know, include include okay, him into great. that area. There I am. Yes, looking good. Let me just sort of take that back to a light color for making sure you've got good contrast. Yeah, I gotta I gotta be looking good. Mm -hmm. That's it's important. So one thing we've modeled as well as part of the product is we have kind of a very familiar document manager that people of pages or keynotes are okay. used to seeing, folder organization. Nice, nice. And as well as having our, all of our templates organized as well. Now this is just a subset of templates. They'll be all across all the subject areas. Uh, English language arts, social studies, science, and thinking and wow. planning. So it'll be about 80 or 90 templates. That's total. amazing. That's amazing. And so it'll have like, uh, will it also have like the clip art collection and things like that that so, are in the. So we've actually chosen not to include the, the symbol library. We're very concerned on, on, on footprint space on the iPad. Okay. But however, we do support, since we support the photo albums, it's very easy for teachers to basically use the USB import <laughs> images through the camera interface okay, so they, to import their own. They can use libraries. it if they get there. Okay. So now let me ask this: If if I'm using Inspiration on a laptop desktop, can I import it into my iPad? So in our initial version, we we, are not, we don't have file format compatibility with Webspiration or Inspiration. Okay. At this point. So uh, can I export? Yeah, we can do iPad to iPad. Yeah. So I can okay. do email transfers, Doc, Dropbox, iTunes. Okay. Interfaces. What will I be able to save this as? Can I? I can. Okay. I can email it. I can iTunes. Can I PDF it? 
we don't have PDF in the initial version. In graphic image, we can give you the text import. JPEG will work. Yeah, I mean it will. It's a, a JPEG, P, it's, okay. it's a PNG. Oh, you know, okay. Okay. Collection of your image. Okay, great. There. And again, we'll you know taking the image into the photo library. If that happens, that seems to be another popular uh, transfer point for students to use. Um, Integrating into other forms of drawing applications. That's awesome. Okay, uh, what are some of the what are some of the problems that you ran into while you were creating it, or was it just the easiest thing that ever was to? <laughs> I, th I think the, the <laughs> Mr. Key, Product Development Guy. The, the key thing really is making the interface obvious and easy. We really we maintain a minimal interface, so we don't really need to have a, a large training and development effort going on. That it's natural and intuitive. You know, right. The concept of tapping and drawing. And and it looked like from what you were showing, it's like. You start, you just start tapping, and right. then you're done, and that's... Yeah, so, so for example, you know, another aspect of the product, let me go back in a minute, thing, is really how we're sort of using, you know, the concept of a, a placement by basically a drag out, but we can also basically just tap it and get a, an instant creation. And those of those people that are familiar with inspiration know about rapid fire, we've fully right. incorporated rapid fire. Oh, as rapid well fire is awesome. Okay. To, to get all that, so we can able to brainstorm, get that information quickly. Can I thought. save that as a, uh, as a, um, uh, an outline? That's right. Like we have the again. integrated switching between diagram view and outline view. Now, of course, this was a pretty lightweight example yeah. for not much context in outline. And, and then have, I can also... have me there. That's, uh, yeah, that should be important. That's but, right. Okay. And then basically tapping and dragging your outline to reorganize it, reorder that okay. directly. So that's not much different from the uh, from the desktop, laptop version. Right. You know, those, those, those metaphors all exist. It's okay. just how we do it as a direct interface versus other forms of, of mouse icons that you would basically mouse. Well, this through. is really an awesome product. I'm glad you guys are coming out with it. Thank you for listening to me. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, that, so it'll uh, be available, like I said, in you know, Inspiration Diagrams Lite. It'll be available in March, and uh, you can pre basically register for notice of that on our website, www.inspiration.com slash iPad, and we'll drop you an email out when it's available um, on the App Store. And so since you are the product manager, right, the development manager, you are in charge of creating this bad no, boy? I'm the product manager. I'm responsible for you know, maintaining the set of requirements. I've managed all the beta sites. We shared this product with over 50 educators around North America. Managed, you know, took their feedback, incorporated it in their product as well. So if it doesn't work, I blame you. That's right. But if it's a brilliant piece of software, I'm the hero. You get the you get this credit. That's I'm right. I'm the hero. Mike, thanks so much. Uh, do you have a pricing yet? Or what it's going to be? We haven't announced our pricing on the okay. full version just yet. Look for that coming out in the next couple of weeks. Okay. As you can imagine, you know, the iOS store and volume discounts are kind of an interesting yeah. you know, process to go through. And uh, what's the price on the free one? <laughs> I think we're, we're I think we've announced that it's free. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm glad you did that. Mike, thanks for talking to us today. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tim.